Hallie Stone with regard to the I-944 with the I-45, I thought not required to submit I-944 because I'm protected relying on previous law of 1999 before public law, charge law. I still have to submit the I-944. If you filed an adjustment before February of 20, of 2020, you do not have to file the I-944. If you after, the answer is yes, you have to do it. Love, love. My husband says he's never been arrested, but he stated, but he, but he stayed in the jail for three months because his mom could not pay the money to release him. Is that called a crime? Well, you don't get arrested be, for no reason. So he was arrested for something. Whether he was ultimately convicted of a crime, that's a different story. But he was certainly arrested, love, love. Uh, Henry, hey, Brad. If I filed a VAWA and the I-45 concurrently, will USCIS waive the fees for the I-45? No, they will not. Lastly, how long does it take for the USCIS to approve a VAWA if the I-130 is already approved? Uh, you're still going to wait over two years. Um, M77M. Hi, Brad. I got married in July 2018. The case was approved in March 2020. Due to COVID, I entered the U.S. in August. I got a two-year green card. Do you think it was an error? Uh, I entered in August of 2020, and you got married July 18. I, yes, I do think it's an error. Um, you should have gotten a 10-year card. Uh, Kenny DeBamba, hi, Brad. My asylum case has been referred to court. I'm married to a permanent resident. She also filed the I-130 for me. Can I be deported? Yes, you can, uh, but hopefully um, uh, either you're an arriving alien, and then you can adjust your status, uh, or your wife will become a citizen, or you've been here for more than 10 years or something. I think you need a good lawyer, though. Sugar Jules. Hi, Brad. I filed the I-140 EAD due to job loss. It is pending status. I got a job after 60 days grace period, and the H-1B transfer is in progress. And I start working immediately before getting approved. Let's, well, let me ask, read that question again. I filed the I-140 EAD due to job loss. It is an pending status. I got a job after 60 days grace period, and the H-1B transfer is in progress. Yes, you can start working. AJ, can you travel while the I-751 is pending? with an expired green card and extension letter. Yes, you can. Noreen Shazard, I had my citizenship test yesterday. I passed the English test, no arrests, no tickets, but the officer gave my t me test passed, but decision can't make it yet. Why? I don't know. Um, sometimes they just purposely delay. Sometimes your, your fingerprints haven't cleared. I don't know. I would need to speak to you more to find out why, why you're not uh, getting approved. Erica, Erica on Facebook. Hi, Brad. My mom went to Jamaica December 2019 to bury my dad. She has a green card. She's still in Jamaica. Will she lose her social security benefits pension if she loses her residency? Yes, she will. And she's overstayed and she probably lost her residency. It's been, she, uh, well, no, she hasn't lost her residency yet. But if she, she, when did she go in December 2019? Yes, yeah, she better come back soon. Thanks for watching. For more Brad Show Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.